So some upgrades arrived for my Nabu PC from Les Bird. First one is a TN VDP replacement. It adds AD column mode and HDMI support. Much improved over the composite video output. The other is a ROM WBW card that adds compact flash um, boot support and it makes the machine completely standalone. So I'm going to install these now. So I'm going to try and remove the TMS99 chip. There's not a lot of room to get a screwdriver underneath it. So I guess I'll try and use this tool. Here goes. Is the TNVDP uses a Tang Nano 9000. Pins are lined up. Plug in the HDMI cable. Only does video. This is the, I think, version one of the TNVDP, so it doesn't support audio. All right, come on, please work. It would help if I switch the TV to HDMI mode. That still didn't work. Let's just push on the socket to see if it helps. We have an image. Now I've got to remove the Z80. Whoops, that could have been bad. Pins aren't too bent though, nothing too serious. Option card is installed. Let's give it a try. It works. There's a jumper down here for selecting normal NABU boot or option card boot. I'm going to replace the jumper with a turbo switch lying around from an old PC. As you can see, this is the normal NABU mode. But if I power off, Hit the switch, power back on. Now we're in the ROM WBW mode. Right, let's test it out. Can boot from the CF card. Copied some demos over earlier. Let's try the MSX version of Pac-Man. It's not as good as the Nabu version, but it's very cool that we can run it. Whoa, that was lucky. <laughs> I 
don't think I'll push my luck any further. Hmm, what's going on there? Reset? Oh, it's working now. So there's a fat file system on the CF card that we can copy files from. That's what's currently on there. The ROM WBW also has a serial port, but I'll have to test that in a later video.